I wanted to bake some bread, so I took my old trusty bread baking book, but then I realized that we have AI to help us. So I asked the dialogue chatbot, ChatGPT, how can I bake bread in a cast iron skillet using fresh yeast? And I wanted to use metric units. And then it basically just spits out the recipe, which you will find in the description below. And as for the ingredients, it wanted me to use bread flour, salt, fresh yeast, warm water and olive oil. And the first step is basically just to measure out the flour and add it with the salt. One thing to remember when using AI for getting your recipes is that you have to be scientifically accurate with your measurements. So here I am meticulously measuring out the flour and the salt. Then we mix it together to form a combined salt and flour mixture. It then tells us to, in a separate bowl, dissolve the fresh yeast in the warm water. And of course, as the AI doesn't have hands, we can't expect it to mention finger warm water. But this is what I did. And I must admit that it's very cool that this AI can tell me how to bake bread without it having ever baked bread before. Then we let it sit for a few minutes until it becomes frothy. The AI then instructs us to add the olive oil and the yeast mixture to the dry ingredients and then we're supposed to mix everything until it comes together to form a dough. And sometimes I think about whenever AI becomes sentient that the first thing they will do is to bake bread. Hopefully they will follow this recipe by watching this video. So eventually when the wooden spatula didn't suffice any longer I had to take out the dough with my hands and knead it. It still felt finger warm. The recipe then calls for me to turn the dough onto a floured surface and then to knead it for about 10 minutes or until it becomes smooth and elastic. After that I put some oil in a bowl and then I placed the dough in there. And if you look closely you can notice that it became a fidget spinner. A slightly damp cloth was placed over the bowl. One hour later. So the bride is almost ready to go into the oven, sorry, the bread is almost ready to go into the oven, but first we want to punch it down to remove any air bubbles and then shape it into a round loaf. I then place the dough in the cast iron skillet and let it rise for another 20 minutes. I simultaneously used my other two hands to preheat the oven to 220 degrees celsius. 20 minutes later. And finally the time had come to put the bread into the oven. Then put a timer on 29 minutes, oh sorry, 30 minutes. One eternity later. So after dancing to this new mixtape for about a minute, I figured it was time to remove the bread from the oven. The AI said that the final step is to remove the bread from the skillet and then let it cool on a wire rack before slicing and serving. The recipe also says that the bread is not done until it is golden brown, which it is, and it sounds hollow when tapped on the bottom. I tried knocking and it did not sound hollow. But then I realized I forgot to say hello before knocking. I tried that, hello, and then it works. The bread is done. Also, don't forget to use the AI to do the dishes for you. As it turns out, the AI generated bread is super nice. The crust is crispy, the color is golden brown. When revealing the inside of the bread, we can also see that it's very spongy and exactly like you want your bread. So I would like to conclude by saying that I'm super excited about other applications of machine learning and artificial intelligence. And this is just one example of where AI will steal our jobs.